Clibber, hi, friends. Darth Momo here. I just watched the live stream of Celebration, the Rebels panel, and goodness gracious me, that Rebels trailer is... Ugh. I'm going to take a moment just to think about it, but we, you guys have the intro. No idea how that was awesome. It wasn't a full trailer because a full trailer it seemed a little too soon for that, considering it's starting in the fall. But at the same time, it wasn't nothing either. I'm so happy, so thrilled with what we're gonna see. I'm curious what the time pass is gonna be because some clips they showed us and or some stills they showed us. It seems like it takes place right after season four, and the rebels are just arriving at Yavin. But at the same time, things like calluses, uh, you know, change in appearance, make it seem like it's been a little while. Thrawn's back, that made me happy. bo -Katan. And that's animation that difference that I can buy. Ahsoka, terrible. Uh, Steel Guerrera, awful. But like bo -Katan, it's buyable, the difference. <coughs> Rook. I, I mean, I never read Hair to the Empire, but I know about Rook. I read a little bit about it, and, uh, oh, that's going to be interesting to see Warwick Davis. I'm glad he's there. A little disappointed he was never in Clone Wars, but, uh, I'm glad he's in Rebels. <laughs> he's the Star Wars constant. Uh, Dave Filoni said things are going to get fun, they're going to get a little dark, and based on kind of what, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. said with, uh, Kane and kind of, uh, and comparing him to Obi-Wan and how he said Obi-Wan and and kind of how he died and all that. I, I really think he just kind of hinted that Kanan will die. I think Ezra's going to die as well. Uh, the Rebel Season 4 ending, that wasn't something that made me sad. That was something that made me go, yes, yes, yes. Because it's, it's going to end. It's going to end perfectly. I know it. I'm excited for it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm glad how they changed up Saw Gerrera's appearance. They brought in U-Wings, X-Wings, that was... Oh, yes! <coughs> uh, it looks like Hera's gonna be flying an X-Wing. That That's gonna look pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> what else do we have? <coughs> Not sure what happens with the Lothal. I don't... They can't free Lothal. We know that because... Uh, their first major strike against the Empire is Scarif, but uh, at the same time, it does would seem kind of a lingering threat. I'm I'm a fan of Rebels ending one, one of either two ways: ending straight before Rogue One, like uh, ending uh, something with a uh, a hint like, uh, "Oh yes, we're sending this guy to the Ring of Kefrin." Like we've heard about Jetta and something like they they're hearing about Imperial pilot or having the finale be the Battle of Scarif. Uh, oh, this is longer than I thought it was going to be. It's This is fantastic, guys. I'm not a fan of Star Wars everywhere, but this is some interconnectivity I am looking so forward to. I uh, I can't wait. It's it's going to be awesome. I'm a fan of seeing Darth... I want to see Darth Vader appear again. Uh, I still want Thrawn to be the main villain, though. I want to see Tarkin again. I want to see the Death Star. Uh, I want to see the Death Star. I want to see Krennic. I want to see Cassian in K2. Uh, what else is there? I know we're getting Jin back. I want to see Bail Organa with a more updated appearance. I want to see Leia again. I don't want to see Ahsoka. I want to find out that she perished at the hands of Vader. That's how I think her story needs to end. What else is there? Uh, I want to find out why there weren't A-Wings and Scara for Yavin. <coughs> Uh, I want to see some confirmation that, uh, or no, never. I want to see Sabine not come back to the Alliance. I want to see what happens with the Mandalorians. Oh, I want to see Thrawn die at the end. And, uh, personally, I think it would be a touching sacrifice if Kane and Ezra gave their lives to, like, kill Thrawn. Um, uh, Thrawn, he needs his place. I mean, someone like him, he should have been around in... Uh, the original trilogy, so... Oh, goodness, what else is there? 
I want to see 3 po and R2 again. Uh, I want to find out what happened to the Phantom 2, why it wasn't in Rogue One. Oh. What else? There are just so many great things. Oh, I want to see... I want them to confirm that Rex is the guy we see in Endor. Uh, I want that so bad. Uh, what else is there that I want to see? Characters or... I want to see Biggs Darklighter. Uh... That's that's all I got. This is a really longer, much longer review than I thought it was going to be, but I couldn't help it, guys. Thank you for joining in. I'm going to be here right with you for Season 4, up until the DVD release of it, as we end off on Season 4, Thank and Star Wars Rebels as a whole. Thank you guys so much for joining in. May the Force be with you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them in the light.